<clears throat> so this is the part where you uh, you start you start filming me. Yep, that's why the camera's rolling. Okay, yeah, I didn't know if we were doing that yet. Okay. Why don't you tell us what happened? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> well, it was kind of just like a normal weekend, you know. Uh, Betsy had the weekend off, so we thought might as well go up north. See, I know I have the postcard from that gas station in here somewhere. It had like a ghoulish thing on it, three heads and everything. We don't need to see it, actually. I just want you to tell us about what happened when you got to the cabin. Oh, yeah. Well, it was quiet at first. <laughs> Peaceful. We got there a few hours later than expected. Because we got lost. <laughs> we got inside. And I had to take a quick pee. <laughs> you know how those long car rides go. Yeah, she was peeing all the time. I mean, she was kind of like, it was like a like an overstuffed juice box. You even touch it, it kind of dribbles. Yeah, the place is super nice though. Uh, you know, I actually never used one of those those like hotel apps. You hear people talk about them all the time at the Rite Aid, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it was kind of nifty. Great, that's great. Yeah, it was great. Uh, you know, until she showed up. Who, exactly? <laughs> well, I already, I already told you. No, it's for the audience. Oh! <laughs> yeah, oh, the, the people back home. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, her, her name was, uh, uh... We heard about Granny Hanger from a guy at a gas station. Actually... Yeah, <laughs> she had to pee again. Yeah, we got all comfy and we started watching a movie. Uh, you ever seen Shrek 2? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, you ever seen Shrek 2? Yes, I have seen Shrek 2. <laughs> it's a cool one. It was after the fairy godmother entered, or something, and we heard a spooky noise from the window. It scared the crap out of me. Didn't even occur to us it could have been... The Granny. We didn't know what was going on. We didn't dare go back to the window. When did you start to think it was her? Well, it wasn't until I walked past the door that I saw her. Legend has it that she just takes kids and she hangs them in trees with her coat hangers. You know, not, not like dead or nothing, but you know, just kind of inconvenient. Well, when Dale saw her at the front door, we started to get worried. I had left my mini disco ball in the car. It's kind of a vintage thing. <laughs> so I didn't want her to get it. That's... That's great! So, can we get to the attack? Well, when she finally got into the house. <laughs> yeah, that one got me. Yes, when she got into the house. Tell me what happened then. Well... I mean, if normally if I saw an old woman standing in my door, you know, I might ask more questions. <laughs> you know. No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> Betsy threw the nougat bar at her, thinking she might be scared, because, you know, she, she can't really chew on it. You know, because she's probably got dentures, I assume. The bar was more of a distraction. That gave us time to get downstairs. Dale told me to hide. Go, go. He had a plan. The hard caramels were kind of like a last ditch effort though. I took a handful, threw open the front door, and I just threw them right outside. It was kind of like bait. And uh, we never saw her again. She never came back? No. I thought there was some sort of attack. Well, she broke in. Is that not enough for you? I mean, I I was told there was some gruesome attack. We gruesomely lost some candy. Did you miss that? I thought you had a big gash from her hurting you. Oh, yeah. No, I got a big scratch. No, but that wasn't from her. No, that was from Betsy. I asked if she could scratch the lower part of my back. You know, and it was great and all, but, you know, it just kind of stings. So... No attack. Well, we lost candy. All right, cut. I think we're finished here. What? What, I mean, you, you didn't like the story? It was fine. Great. Thanks.
Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, she had to pee a lot. Yeah, she just couldn't stop peeing. Yeah, I'll tell you, it was like every two minutes she was dribbling out. Yeah, <laughs> she had to pee again. Yeah, I told, like I told you before, every 18 minutes. Piss. It's kind of like non-stop pee. It's like a coconut, but like a lot easier to get in and out because it's pee. Yeah, she's peeing all over the place. I swear. I swear to God, it's like a, it's like a, a gosh darn house cat. Can't even trade him. I tried. Yeah, like I said before, she was peeing all the time. She was probably so filled up a, a gosh darn uh, nickel could have scared her. <laughs>